knowing that I couldn't get in at 17, I had a, oh, this is, I had a couple of guys that during the war there were coupons. You had to have sugar coupons, gasoline coupon, you know, coupon coupons. And I was aware of it, but never partook in the in their um, uh, job deal what they were doing. They were counterfeiting those. So who do I go to to fix my birth certificate? That's my two friends who subsequently were in jail. Well, I was in Boston, not Boston, <laughs> Bastogne. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, I got in, 17. Um, I enlisted, so I asked for the cavalry. I was sent to the, why I was sent to the engineers? Oh, I don't never know. Um, uh, thank God it wasn't the infantry. Um, I have a very high regard and re uh, respect for anybody that has that blue badge, infantrymen. Mm -hmm. And um, oh, we got our share, of course, because the tanks couldn't move unless we did to, it took the mines up and or we blew up. Or General Patton's object was to get the <clears throat> Lynch Austria before the Russians, because the Russians were told by political uh, dealings that they could have all the way to the Danube, but not on the German side. How did I got twisted? I don't know. Since we all know they had no, they had part of Berlin. Okay. Um, the Russians were a little bit late getting there, so we are we were ahead of our objective, our mission that particular day that we took off was to um, liberate um, Mauthausen concentration camp. What we beheld. And what we saw, and I'm sure I speak for my comrades, was worse the condition of the people and what had transpired prior to our arrival was worse than the battlefield. They were terrible. They were covered with swords. They weighed 70 pounds. They were, if they were alive at all, they were didn't go over 70 pounds. And they were all sick and had lice, and, and it was terrible. But the um, medicos got in there that afternoon in force. They set up a tent to triage, but they didn't have to triage. Everybody was the same. 